Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a Simple Colors Rebel Rebel, and it's another fluid nail art. I've started off with Nail Teaks Formula 2, and I'll be using this limited time Simple Colors called Rave New World, and I topped it off with Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I am doing the smush decal technique today. I'll be using Rave New World and the Hypnotic Transforming Top Coat by Simple Colors called Rebel Rebel. And I'll also be using the Sinful Colors called Trump Card. And I'm just going to start off with um, drops of the polish right on top of each other. I start off with two of the light blue and then one of the transforming one and then a white one. And then go back to the blue and the transforming and then another white. And then I'm going to take one of my clear stampers and just kind of lightly press down and then lift up and you can see it start doing itself thing. So you do have one on the mat and you also have one on your stamper. You can use either or. I'm gonna start off using the ones on the mat. Um, I kinda looked at all of them and I was like, yeah, I wanna use this one and that one. So it's kinda nice to have, you know, options to, you know, pick which ones you want. Now these are still a little wet. Um, this one, is is still very very tacky it's not sticking to the mat anymore um, I am able to get it up I was just having to be very careful and sometimes if you let them if you try to do them too wet you're not gonna get them at all but I got lucky with this one and I'm gonna go ahead and do it and let the other ones dry for a little bit more before I mess with them so there you go you just want to mush it down to the nail really well and then I take this plastic cuticle pusher and I use kind of the flat edge end of it just to kind of break that um, where you know around my cuticle I'm trying to break that excess off and peel it off a little bit that way um, you, you don't have to do this step you could just clean it up with um, nail polish remover or acetone whatever your preference is I like to get as much of it up as I can before I do this part <laughs> I am gonna break out I always make sure to um, do that end. I don't like big globs of polish up under there. I do want it um, capping the end of the tip of my nail, but I don't want a big hunk of it up under my nail. It just is not my thing. I'm going to break Woody out and dig a little bit of that clumpiness out from under there and continue on with the acetone and my cleanup brush. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I damp in, tap into my dampen dish I always touch my brush to the towel and that just pulls a, just a little bit of the liquid off to where I'm not flooding um, with the acetone you know I, um, I want plenty of acetone on that brush but I don't want it just you know taking over and getting all over parts that I don't want it you know I don't want to flood it I don't want to flood it too bad I don't think I did it that time and, um, and it did kind of flood, but it, the way I was holding my finger, it kind of let it run down my finger a little bit. So, good save, I guess. A happy accident? Maybe. So there we go. We've got two done. And I'm going to head on to the next one. I have sped this up. I, um, you know, I wanted to show you me doing all of them so that you could kind of get a... See, that one's trying to stick to my, <laughs> stick to my finger. So there is going to be no moving that one around. It's going where it got put. So we're going to mush that one down and make it flat. And we're going to use that cuticle pusher again to break away the excess. Or at least try to. You just kind of go around it, you know. Um, this one's still rather wet also. I couldn't remember which order I did them on the mat. So some are wetter than others. <laughs> more tacky. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see me doing a little bit of my cleanup here on this one. Hopefully I can stay in frame, at least in frame enough, and hopefully the camera will behave. It's trying to act like it's having trouble focusing. But you just kind of go around and you can tap the ends and the free edge with the, the side of your brush and kind of help flatten those out too. You don't, wanna, don't really want to be you know dragging the brush across that area because you might pull up more than than you want to so there we go we got those done 
Now I'm going to show you being pulling one off of the stamper. Now this one's a lot drier than the other ones and um, it's going to be a little trickier to get it to stick but this is actually the perfect decal. It's not too wet anymore and if I didn't like the placement I could re remove it and put it somewhere else. So I'm going to take the stamper. I learned this from Gileen 325. You don't want to use a sticky stamper, but just, you know, a regular stamper and just mush it down onto the nail and it worked really well. So thank you, Gileen. I love learning neat little tricks like that. And there we go. We're breaking some more of that excess off and we're going to go in with the cleanup brush and I use pure acetone on this and you know, I just, I don't, I just don't have the patience for nail polish remover. You know, the non-acetone type, I, I just don't. It takes too long. So I like this, um, and I do have to use cuticle oil and lotion a lot more because of this habit. But you know, it's a trade-off. So there we go. I'm cleaning up around my cuticle real well, and also doing it this way. You also are kind of making that decal stick around the edges because that acetone kind of helps melt it. And I guess nail polish remover would do the same thing. Um, it kind of melts it to the nail pretty good. So there you go. We're going to top this one off with some posh top coat and call it to done. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. And if you've tried these, I did find these in a Walgreens this week, like just in the last couple of days. So they're still out there. And here is my swatch photo. So thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.